Fishing the Wild West TV with Wes David is brought to you by Sandy Point Resort. Experience Sandy Point Resort's year-round lifestyle on the shores of Gull Lake in Central Alberta. Tracker boats, fish the finest. Adventure Destination International. Book your trip of a lifetime with Adventure Destination International and Thompson's Camps, along with Cam Clark Ford, the official vehicle of fishing the Wild West TV. That's a better one. That's a... <laughs> current walleye is my favorite. But when you're fishing current walleye on the Tobin River, or Tobin Lake River system, potential of 12, 13, 14 pounders are here. That is awesome. We're just letting the river take us. We're using the trolling motor to kind of just control our direction, but we're, the river itself is taking us at anywhere from 1.4 to 1.6 miles an hour. This feels like a really good fish. Barbless hook, so now I'm nervous. Sean, you fish this river system a lot. Is this a good one, bow on the rod? Well, usually my rule of thumb is if it takes uh, more than one dive, when it gets close to the boat, it's probably a red zone fish. Ah, this is a good fish. I'll bring them up to you in the net. That's a beauty. Yep, that's a red zone fish. So tell us a little bit about the red zone. The red zone was put in about 25 years ago to, to uh, make this more of a CPR type of lake. Mm -hmm. Catch, photo and release. Right. And preserve the, the breeding stock. So anything 55 to 86 centimeters has to go back in the lake. That is a, and fat. I don't know if you can see how thick and heavy he is, but that is a beautiful, beautiful walleye in anybody's books. And Sean, you guide your clients to those every day. Yes, you, some days you get lots of those, some days you don't, but there's, there's tons of fish here. Well, that's fishing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> some days you're in the money, some days you're not. <laughs> but we're, today we're here fishing with Sean from Reel'em In Cabins. Uh, we're about five minutes from the boat launch is where your cabins are. Um, along with the cabins, how many, 12, 14 cabins? 12. Modern, beautiful cabins, five minutes from a world-class fishery, and you also guide on this river system. Yeah, there's 45 miles of fishable territory here for walleye, trophy, trophy pike, there's perch, sturgeon, um, Gold, or a gold eye as well. There's other species. Most people are coming here for the monster pike, monster walleye. The ice fishing world record is caught not very far from us, 18 plus pounds. Yes. And Sean is catching 12, 14 pounders every day. And we're here to go after a few of those monsters. Thanks for having yes. us, Sean. All right. We're going to keep fishing, get our hooks out. in the water, do a little indie rigging. All right. We've had to both move to the same side of the boat because we want to be drifting, as Sean says, between one and one and a half miles an hour. Well, the current, the river current is already doing one. So I got the trolling motors down but off, and we're just letting the current take us, but as it, as it turns the boat, obviously, with the wind. So that's we're just fishing off the same side, just making, making it work. Fish and it's on. working. Ha. Okay, I'll come in. 16 feet of water. We just come out of roughly 11 feet. And Sean hooked up when the boat's sitting over 16 feet. Feel pretty good, Sean? I think it's one for the live well. Oh, an eater. We're gonna have to measure that one. That might even touch the red zone. It's a nice fish. Beauty fish. We've caught already three or four different age groups here. Now, Sean, you show us down here, show the camera what the red zone is. 
Anything 55 to 86 centimeters has to go back in the lake. This here fish is under, and you got to use a pinch tail measurement. That's an under. That's 53 and a half centimeters. That's a large under. You can keep that one. I think we should put them back. We'll keep the little smaller ones to eat. Sure. Let him. I agree. Keep the river system healthy. Beautiful, beautiful yes. fish. Beautiful tournament fish right there. All right. This segment has been brought to you by Lynn Thompson Lures, Canadian made for over 90 years, and Rock Guard, protect your investment. Closed captioning is brought to you by Buzz Bomb Tackle, iconic sonic fishing lures made in North America for over 50 years. This one feels like a better fish, Sean. We switched up the bottom bouncing just because of the, <laughs> the wind it's blowing through here. So we had to slow our baits down quite a bit and we, we put, I'm running a two ounce bottom bouncer bait. Sean's running a one, one and a half ounce. One and a half. And with our, we both tie our own, or our own bottom bouncing blades. And we just got set up here. We've landed one fish that you would like eater size. And then this one's a, oh, that's some magnificent netting, big yeah. buddy. It's the angler on the other end that kept them on there. <laughs> Good thing you got a claw grip on this beauty red zone. There it is. Yeah, there's a beautiful fish. First time I've ever bottom bounced uh, Nippowin. Yeah, that's a great red zone fish here in the wind, mid-afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon, catching these kind of fish. We're gonna take quick measurement, getting back. 25 incher. 25 inch walleye, one o'clock in the afternoon on nipple wind. There he goes right to the bottom. I'll oh, get back in there. <laughs> I got another great fish on here. Again, we talked about it earlier when we opened the show. Sean not only owns reel them in cabins where you can stay when you come to Nipwin for fishing adventures of all kinds of species, but he guides on the river system. We're staying at reel them in cabins and just so happened we found out that Sean had a day off, so guess where we have him? <laughs> We're taking his knowledge, using it on the river system. Again, it's this one o'clock in the afternoon. This is definitely a red zone fish. There's a potential of 12, 13, 14 pounders in here every time you drop in. A lot of boats have gone off the water because of the wind. Water uh, making boat control hard but we found a way to work with our tracker and we're catching big fish at one in the afternoon. This is a really good fish. I wonder if I should just hit anchor. I think you're okay. Fight just the fish. You're okay the way it's sliding. I like it. It'll, it'll come into us. I'm guessing this one could be the 10 pounder we're after. Excellent. Yeah, I'm just guessing by the flash. Don't hit him on the head, Sean. <laughs> no pressure. Ah, he's in the oh, net. Oh, that is a hog. Oh, what a beautiful that fish. That is a beautiful fish. That's for sure, for sure my biggest fish so far this year. We'll get a measurement on him. That's, he's 10 pounds. We're all fishermen here, he might be 11. We'll get a measurement on him and let you know. Conservation Corner is brought to you by Brian Muir with IA Securities, 
aligning your financial future so you can spend more time outdoors. Get him back in the water so they can do their studies. Now, Sean, what's that all about? There, that's the first tag fish I've caught in probably a couple years. But each province has some sort of tagging program. What's, what's Nip Wins about? Uh, University of Regina students, they come up here, they've got a research study. So when we have the Premier's Cup and the Vanity Cup, when we, uh, it's a live release tournament. Yep. And when we catch fish, they'll go and tag them. And there's a number on there. And they ask that they, they uh, that all fishermen go and report where they caught it, what time, what approximate measurement it had, so they can study the health of the fishery. And that's what you'll do tonight when we get back yes. off the water. You'll send that information in. So that's a great conservation piece, and another way that that hunters and anglers, and in this case tournament anglers, are helping and giving back to conservation and the fisheries and the wildlife that we pursue. Correct. Fishing. This segment has been brought to you by Hooked Magazine, Hooked on Fishing in the Great Outdoors, and Big Sky Flies and Jigs. This segment is brought to you by Lucky Bug Lures, Get Hooked on Lucky Bug Lures, and Tourism Saskatchewan. Start planning your visit today. Better, but I don't believe he's a red zone. Definitely not. Get him in the boat. I think we'll eat him. Little guy. And 27 feet of water. <laughs> They're everywhere from nine to 27 feet. Just a little fella. We'll let him go. Barbless hook comes right out. Right back to the bottom. And I get to keep my leech. This one feels a little better. Just come over them too. I like saw them on the hummingbird. Yeah, he feels a little bit. Yeah, he's a nice ball. Eh? Perfect. Yeah, nice fish. Nice That's fish. awesome. That's what we're looking for. That and there's much bigger in here. It's our second day here with Sean Reelaming Cabins. And as you can see, pops right out, weather conditions have definitely changed. I mean, that's not a real long fish, but he's so solid and strong. 58. Red zone. 58, right on the money. That's a great fish, and that's the red zone fish. Yes. Perfect, and they're going back. Just like that. Okay, let's do that again. Those are great. We weeded ourselves through a lot of small fish to pick up him. He's the first one of the morning, but we've only been out here 45 minutes. Let's get back in there. Yep. Here's another good one, Sean. I'm gonna bring in. Yeah, this one feels really good. My rod reel is loosened up. We've caught a lot of fish here. And you come to Nipwin, you know, it's famous for the monster, like 10, 12 pound plus fish, but you're gonna catch a lot of in-between fish and a lot of, we've caught little cigar fish, as you call them. <laughs> this is a really, really healthy fishery. Yeah, he's a tank. Oh, yeah. 
That's a nice fish. Oh, there He's we in go. The net. Holy cow, that's... There we go. Beauty. Whoa. There's some weight on that one. He's 69 centimeters, which would have been 27 inches for our American friends. So we're just going to put him back in. There he goes right, right to the bottom right away. That's a healthy fish. That was awesome, Sean. Nine pounder. Nine pounder? You're on a roll. Let's go for 12. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, really, really important to have that, the weight of your Lindy on the bottom. If it's not on the bottom, you're not getting bit. Big difference today though, keeping the weight on the bottom with <laughs> with not uh, crazy winds. So we just showed you, perfect. We just showed you that, that big nine, 10 pounder. We're only three, four boat lengths from where we landed him and we just had a pound, pound and a half. So it's not always that walleye will school with the same size as each other. A lot of people think, oh, if there's 10 pounders, they're together. If there's one or two pounders there together, but we just showed that it's not always the case. It's another healthy fish for the fryer. Fishing the Wild West TV will be right back. This segment is brought to you by the Canadian National Sportsman Shows and Wild Rose Brewery, branded with character. That's a really good fish. Or a big pike, it's not uncommon Lindy rigging to catch a big pike too. I just hit neutral on the boat. Yeah, this is a beauty. I think it's a walleye. I think so too. I'm feeling the thump thump. Now the nerv nervous part is keeping a tight line <laughs> as it's barbless hooks. Watch your rod here. And this is where you just got to keep a tight line, trust your gear, put 10 pound braid on, carbon light rod and reel from Bass Pro Shops. Just keep a tight line and let your equipment do the work. Oh, he's just solid, just trying to put his belly back on the bottom. That's his third dive. <laughs> What's your theory? Three dives? Three dives and it's high red zone material. Well, it's high red zone though, like 60, 70 plus. 70 plus. I see my linear weight. Oh, big time. Holy, this is a monster walleye. He's in the net. Oh, that's Holy a beautiful cow. fish. Good job. Holy moly. Now we're not going to spend much time with him. We'll get the hook out of him. We'll take a quick picture. The hook was right in the corner of his mouth. That's how easy it comes out. Holy moly. <laughs> that's a monster fish. We got, we got our measuring stick here from Big sky flies and jigs. 72 and a half, which is 28 inches. That is a monster walleye. That was an amazing fishery here at Tobin Lake. Um, Nipwin, Relamin Cabins, 
if you're looking for a drive to fishing trip of a lifetime for potential world records, come up here to northern or central Saskatchewan and Nipawin and make your stay at Reelaman Cabins. This Gear Talk is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. We started with our uh, Johnny Morris Carbon Light Rod and Reel Package. Uh, incredible medium action. Uh, we spooled it with 10 pound Bass Pro XPS braided line right down to a one ounce uh, Lindy rig, slip, slip rig or slip weight, clevis, and then on to, this was roughly six feet of uh, mono line, 10 pound mono. And then we had a six mil bead on there, six mil Bass Pro bead to a J hook. And we simply tipped it with a live leech as our weight would go slow, really slow. And that was key. Boat control was key. We were going anywhere from 0.6 mile an hour to 1.1 mile an hour. And that was really key to stay on that structure, fishing that the actual river ditches within the whole river system. Biggest thing that kept us on the fish was boat control. That's this week's Bass Pro Shops Gear Talk, Fish in the Wild West TV. So we just come off the water here at Tobin Lake. Sean, I want to thank you for having us, taking us both on the water and setting us up with Reel Em In Cabins. For your next fishing adventure on Tobin Lake, I highly recommend you contact Sean and Julie at Reel Em In Cabins. And they'll not only give you incredible sleeping accommodations and all the comforts of home, they'll point you in the right direction to set the hook on some great walleye. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much, Wes. You bet. Thanks, Sean. Sometimes it feels that, like as, long, as well as a jumbo Fishing walleye here in Nippowin, he had jumbo clams. <laughs> that would go great with dinner. Fish in the wild we'll laugh, man. You guys. I really want my hook back. No cell phone service and no long to move. What matters most that I'm know what to say, I don't know what I'm looking at the camera or anything. Fishing the living a dream, living a dream, fishing the streams, fishing the wild west.